Okay guys, this is part two of our uh, marble run make. Been a big effort so far. I lost a lot of the video of the uh, making of the machine, so it might be a bit short this video. But there, there'll be enough there to entertain us, I hope. Yeah, so uh, let's get into it. This is part two of our marble run machine make. Okay guys, here are the marbles running down some of the tracks. There's eight different tracks here. Four above the screw and four connected to the screw. I just slow the vision down a lot, but the marble has gone so fast. Let's see how I can make the screw working. There it goes. And down one of the tracks. Cool, eh? And bouncing around there and down into the container. And here's one of the upper tracks again. All the different sorts of marbles. I've already made some more of the upper tracks and today we're going to be installing the chainsaw. So the chainsaw is going to cut up things like potatoes and just weird, weird things as they do on the internet. So, I have the chainsaws. A bit different. Sorry, I'm testing some of the tracks. See how fast the marbles run? And on the upper track. So I'm going to have to fix cameras I think when I film this. Ok guys, I've got most of the upper tracks done. And today we're going to install the chainsaws. Yeah! Chainsaws on the marble run. It's, it's, it's YouTube, anything can happen. Hey guys, I've got my um, chainsaw set up, just, just temporary at the moment, but they've been, the back boards have to be polished yet. Charlie and Chopper. So I'll, I'll take them apart here. It's just a box. Now the chainsaws are set up in two little boxes. So I put a box around the chainsaw and a box fixed to the, to the machine and one pivot point. Pivot, that's how it's set up. So I'll polish this, I'll polish the rest of it now, and then I can put it together. Okay, here I am making a marble track on the router, putting the big groove in for the marble run itself. I did that in three different passes. I'm using a Wacom now, but it's a lot softer. And you notice I use my fence of, fence of my saw as the fence for the router. And here I am putting the groove in for the uh, perspex. One groove each side. and putting a 45 degree chamfer on the edge. Okay guys, you see how I'll be making the marble track? It's just a um, bit of Occam. I'm going to use Occam for most of it now, but it's pretty light. And it's, uh, it grooves easier. And I put a big uh, accentuate a groove in there to hold the marbles, the groove for the perspex and I, I just put a uh, 45 degree uh, edge, edge moulding on it and then polish it all up and that's the marble track. Okay guys this is the time where I lost all my videos that I made about making of the marble track. I don't know how I lost them but I lost them. So I'm up to this stage here you can see the marble track is all but finished. I'm just doing the front skirts now. Make a platform for the robots to roll on. So they gotta be up about this high. So everything looks in proportion. So that's what I'll be doing next. Okay, here I'm cutting the uh, plywood up for the platforms. So easy with a panel saw.
This is one of the patterns for the platforms, the two of them, one each side, and I've marked a line 15 mil all the way in. I've, I've, I've cut all the plywood to 350, that's the height it has to be. And then all you do is, uh, all you do is you literally make your platform on top of your pattern. And then once you made your platform, then the pattern, you transfer the pattern onto another bit of ply and that's your top. You can't go wrong. Okay guys, I'm just about finished. Finished the platform so they come out great. Painted them on the bottom and I just left the plywood on the top. But otherwise it'd be too much white. I'm just going to do some more graphics on the back of my hair. And these are the two robots. This one's Goth, or Roth, sorry. This one's Goth. This one's a straight one. This one's the goofy one. So, it's, the show's going to be a bit like the Muppet Show. You know, the, these are going to be the hosts. And we've got the, um, the marble run and the uh, robots at the back. And the chainsaws. And it's going to be a lot of fun to film. So I'm almost ready to start filming. Probably start filming this week and it'll be out in about five or six weeks. I reckon. And that's the uh, platform that I made for the robots. They come up good, didn't they? Okay guys, thanks for watching. Sorry I lost some of the video about making the marble tracks. And we'll, we'll be back making boxes in about five or six weeks. I'm, I'm taking a holiday soon, so I'm uh, going to be concentrating on filming this and going on a holiday. Then I'll be back doing them both. I'll be filming in this and making the boxes. I'm going to be very busy in my old age, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.